Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GiveMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about PFSense. That's right, PFSense Plus 21.05. They just released it and here's the wonderful thing. WireGuard's back! Yeah, that's right. A couple of improvements, we'll go over some of those things and a little bit of caveat if you're uh, one of the Community Edition users. Stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Yes, that's right. Looky here, PF Sense 21.05. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look at that release. So here we are, June 2nd released, and here are the highlights. So there's some performance improvements, and yes, that's right, WireGuard, which is the big one. Many people wanted want to have WireGuard, and because of a problem, they had to roll that feature back. And now it's coming back out as an experimental add-on package. So they're doing it a little different this time. And uh, hopefully that'll work out great. Also, a new OpenVPN client import package that will streamline your site-to-site -site VPNs. So that is also awesome because there's additional hardware support, fixes for encryption, 50 plus bug fixes. All right. So here is the caveat though. If you will look at here and read this, it says uh, customers running PFSense Plus or the factory edition can, can upgrade to from 2.4.5 P1 or older to the new 21.05. Now, the release of the PFSense Community Edition is still not released. So to get more detail on that, we're going to look at the previous blog post like it says here. And Click right over here. So here they were talking about a sneak preview of the release where you get some of these features. And um, right down here in this last paragraph, they're going to talk about how the 2.5.2 release that corresponds with the 2105 plus version. So if, if you... They, they, they're splitting the, the two, whereas a community version and then a factory version that, that comes with the NetGate hardware. And eventually, I think they're going to be able to convert CE to the Plus version. But I think that's all just still in the works right now. But it looks like the CE version is going to be a little bit behind the Plus version. So I don't know if they have a reason to do this or if it's just, hey, we want to prioritize early early release to people that are buying our hardware. So it is what it is, um, but I am excited. So if you want to know this stuff, you can just go to uh, NetGate's blog and uh, you can take a look at many of the things. If you want to know more about the WireGuard, experimental package there's a there's an article about that too um so yeah so let's go and take a look at a pf sense so here i have one of my pf sense this happens to be the old uh sg 1100 and as you'll see that this guy is on 2.45 p1 now so let's go back over here and you'll see that Customers running 2.51 can upgrade in place. All right. So we should be able to upgrade this guy in place straight to the 2105. And you see that right there in, in its list. That there are some instructions somewhere, um, you know, backup your firewall config configuration. That's a good thing. Take a look at this. Do not upgrade update packages before upgrading, either remove all packages or do not update packages before running upgrade. So these are some important things to take a look at. Um, so we're, go we're gonna go ahead and do that. And do to just, just so you don't look at this, they got it in bolded, do not upgrade packages before upgrading. Take a backup. So if you haven't ever done a backup of your, of your firewall, you can go over here to diagnostics, go to backup, 
and here you'll back up everything. We'll just go ahead and do that. It's going to create a backup of this guy. And there it is. And you'll notice that here we have packages that need to be upgraded. So we're going to go ahead and click on the dashboard. Go ahead and you see it's right there. You just click this guy right here. And then it's going to go ahead and start this process. And I'll take you to the update page. And so you'll have the branches. So here's the latest stable 21.04 current base. And that, so you just hit confirm. Then things are gonna start uploading and downloading and, and installing. And then all you do is wait for this process to finish. You will see here that it says successful and it is rebooting. So this firewall is gonna automatically reboot. We'll get back in there and uh, see what changes we have. So we'll give that just a minute. All right, here we go. We're back in. And of course you get this pop-up, which I hate. And this pop-up, which I also hate. So, and you're back in. And we're up to 21.05, yay. So if you go over here and now we refresh those packages installed and see what it says. Boom. And you notice that they're all to date now. Fully installed versions. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And you look over the VPNs. IPsec export for Windows, Apple profile. So these are these things here, these extra VPN things are some of the things that right now you're getting in the plus version that you don't get in the community version. Let's just go look and see if we can find that new VPN wire. There it is, WireGuard. So we can go ahead and install that. Confirm. It's going ahead and getting all the good stuff right there for WireGuard. And successful. Okay. Looky there. Under the menu, we have WireGuard. Now, I'm not actually going to set it up in this video, WireGuard, but we'll take a look at that later. All right. Well, so there you have it. It's that easy to upgrade your... PF Sense to the new version. Now remember, don't forget that right now, if you're running the Community Edition, you can't get the update yet that has WireGuard. However, if you are running NetGate hardware or the NetGate approved virtual machines in Amazon AWS, then you are you have the Plus version capability. So if you have the plus, you can get this new version 2021.05. And uh, so you get to try out that wonderful Wireshark, or sorry, not Wireshark, WireGuard. And so we'll do a video on WireGuard and how to enable it here pretty soon. I'll probably wait for the uh, community edition to come out so we can, we can uh, set that up that way. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe to this channel every little bit helps thank you very much if you'd like to support me from a monetary value go ahead and click on the link that says buy me a coffee you can donate a little bit also things that help is down below are affiliate links to the netgate hardware so you can go down there and buy netgate off of amazon and it doesn't cost you any more but it does help me out a little bit so thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week